Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with this word, noises in hell. Noises in hell. Noises in hell. And my, my thought for them is running through 1 Kings chapter 19. I mean, and I'll follow it up with different, different perspectives of 1 Kings chapter 19. In 1 Kings chapter 19, you know, 1 Kings chapter 17, the entrance of Elijah, yeah, the big man, the fire prophet, you know, the fiery prophet and all those other things. And then 1 Kings chapter 18, I mean, goes on to the, the showdown in, in Mount Carmel, you know, the uh, uh, rumble, uh, the jungle rumble of Carmel, you know, something like that. I mean, the big fight in Carmel between the prophets of Baal and then Elijah, the man of God. But in 1 Kings chapter 19, something begins to happen. The news of Elijah's victory, the news of Elijah's victory. The Bible says Ahab, the, the, the king who was there, who saw everything. The Bible says that when he went home, he announced to Jezebel, his wife, the cause trouble. Jezebel, the woman behind all this madness that was going and the reason for all these things that God was doing. I mean, all, that, all these things for God's response in terms of famine and all those other things. The Bible says when Ahab got there, he rehearsed the news. He told Jezebel everything that had happened. And subsequently, other things followed. Now, here's my principle. Jezebel was anti-God. Anti Jezebel was the one who introduced uh, the prophets of Baal. She introduced the worship idolatry to Israel. Jezebel was opposed, was an opponent of, of, of the revival. And Jezebel, you know, I mean, Jezebel also spoke. Now here's the interesting thing. Sometimes you'll be very surprised. Your victory will be announced in hell. That is the good things that have taken place in your life. The victories that God, listen, heaven will clap for you. I mean, three places it will be announced. Heaven, earth, and hell. Heaven will say, yes, we have responded to a cry. We have responded to a prayer. Because Elijah prayed and heaven responded with fire. Now, but the interesting thing is that earth would also see it. And earth, sometimes you can have great response, applause. You can have ambivalence that people don't really care. Or you can have, I mean, people who don't like it and they don't like it and they don't like it. And definitely, definitely, hell will not be encouraged by your victory. Hell will not be enthused by your victory. Hell will stand up against it. And so here's the interesting thing. I came to tell you that the great testimonies you have or the great victories that you, 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 you win or you get isn't only going to be limited to just your fear of influence, but God is going to make sure that it's announced of course, it has been announced in heaven. They know already the outcomes. But earth may hear it. And of course, hell may also hear it. So listen, your, and here's the interesting thing. Your victory is no news. Your victory is no news until hell recognizes your victory. That is, the, thing, the great things God has done, hell would hear it. Hell must hear it. And so sometimes don't, I mean, don't say that, oh, I don't want my enemies to hear of it. They will hear it one way or the other. They'll hear of what God is doing in your life. They'll hear of how God is promoting you. They'll hear how God is raising you up. And of course, they're going to respond. But I just came this morning just to tell you that your victory will be announced. Not in places you like, but in also places you don't like. Jezebel, head of the good news about Elijah. Well, this one. You don't control, so you don't have any choice. See you later.